Good day, everyone, and uh, welcome back to yet another shell unboxing video. I mean, what is happening with my life? Uh, a year ago, when I started putting myself on the internet as a sheller, I, I didn't expect to, uh, I mean, I expected negativity because, you know, that's the internet. I did not expect this kind of generosity. Oh my goodness. Uh, I have right here a really special treat. Like, oh my goodness. This box is all the way from New Zealand. If you don't know about New Zealand, it's an isolated island country that's kind of close to, uh, well, nothing. Oh my goodness. And uh, it comes from a wonderful lady named Ruth. So thank you so much to her. And uh, my goodness, I just want to get into this. So let's get going. Here we go. Oh my goodness. And before I covered the personal information, it said that there was a hundred uh, New Zealand seashells in here. Oh my God. So once again, like I cannot say thank you enough. Like thank you so much to Ruth for sending this to me. And thank you so much to everyone who has sent me shells recently. There's been like, there's been so many unboxings. I've been such a spoiled girl lately. It blows my mind, everyone. Thank you so so much for being here on this big seashelling journey with me and uh once again this is from new zealand i guess the closest place to new zealand is probably australia um but we're not exactly close close i guess maybe fiji is kind of close to new zealand again it's not really like close close new zealand is kind of like somewhere where i actually don't have much of an idea about the shells it is like so far out of what I see on the internet, like I see Australian shells, Indo-Pacific shells, uh, American shells. I don't see New Zealand shells. Big surprise to me. Oh my goodness, what do we have in here? Ooh, okay. We got something wrapped in a little, uh, in a little yogurt box. Oh my goodness, hold on. Let me see if I can like bring all these things down. Ooh, okay. And you know, if you are in New Zealand, let me know because uh, I, I, I don't know anyone from New Zealand. I've got like no clue about what kind of shells you get over there. Oh my goodness, lucky number one. What do we have in here? It's a, uh... oh, look at that one. <gasps> I've got myself a New Zealand sand dollar. <gasps> look at this guy, everyone. So uh, Ruth did tell me that very last minute, she did shove in a sand dollar and a sea urchin. I think that might be what that one is. I'm sorry, everyone. I've spoiled the surprise. <gasps> Look at this guy. So yeah, um, just a bit of sand in there. Apparently sand is fine to bring into Australia. It's just like dirt and soil and stuff that uh, border security doesn't like. Oh my goodness, hold on for one second. So here we go. This is a sand dollar from, uh, from Western Australia. I just, I still have these on my desk. They are, they're everywhere. How do they compare? Yeah, definitely a different species. I mean, I'm not surprised that there are different species. Oh my goodness. So while this one has a hole in the middle, this one doesn't. And like the little like flower petal pattern on top is just a bit different as well. <gasps> That's super neat. Oh my goodness. We shall put him up to the side because I want to see what else is in here. Look at this one. Oh, it's big. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Lucky number two. What are you? You are... Is it a sea urchin? Oh, it is a sea urchin. Oh my goodness, look at him. Wow, he is beautifully cleaned on the inside. I need to learn how to clean sea urchins. Oh my goodness, that color is amazing. That is so lovely and green. Also, he's a lot heavier than I thought I than I thought it would be. Like there's some heft to this sea urchin. Like I've got a couple of sea urchins now. I think this one might actually be the heaviest one. I mean, not by a lot, but oh my goodness, look at the little dimples on him. I am notoriously bad at identifying sea urchins. I will do my best to put names on screen for uh, for all of these guys. No idea how I'm gonna go with that. Oh, he is lovely. Oh my goodness. It feels so nice to touch. So uh, yeah, that is, that is absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness, love sea urchins. Love sea urchin tests. So a sea urchin's uh, skeleton is called a test, which sounds really weird to me. I don't know. I'm thinking rude things. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's bring that back up. We'll move Mr. Yogurt container out of the way. Actually, I might move those a little bit further. My goodness. What else is in here? Hold on. I'll move the... Uh... Ooh, oh my goodness, right off the bat I see goodies. <gasps> Murex says, oh my goodness. You know what, I might just leave that off screen 
and bring that one down again. Aren't these precious? What are these? Little, uh, it says a spiny murex. Let's check the paper. Yep, doesn't, okay, so they, I don't know, I do not know which coast of uh, New Zealand that Ruth collects these things from. Oh my goodness. And I wasn't gonna ask her as well in case it was like a trade se or a shelling secret. <gasps> Look at these murexes, everyone. I don't think I've ever seen these before, ever. Oh my God, can I get a bit more light on them? That's wonderful, look at this. It kind of sort of reminds me of some of the Latiaxes I've been sent, which is kind of like a murex. <gasps> okay, and there's a second one in here, are you kidding? Wow. <gasps> oh my goodness, these are beautiful. Look at them with their big old swoops right there. I've never seen these murexes before. We don't have like anything similar to that in Australia, I don't think, or at least nothing I've found. Okay, that's super lovely. I'm just gonna put the paper to the side too. Oh my goodness. Look at these things. These guys are some kind of whelk. My goodness, what kind of whelk are you? I've never seen these before. Like, oh my goodness, knobbed whelks. Huh, that's interesting because I know some of the uh, places on the west coast of the United States of America have something called uh, knobbed whelks, and they are definitely not these guys. Oh my goodness, once again, I will try to put the uh, the scientific name of these on screen because I don't think these are the knobbed whelks that uh, anyone is familiar with, although they, they do have knobs and they are a whelk. They're wonderful. Again, I have never seen these before. I'm gonna look at each and every one of these. Look at like the different colors on them. Oh my goodness, they are precious. <gasps> look at the pointy point on him. Oh, oh my goodness. God, and look at this big old dude. Oh, he is lovely. Like, they're very light shells, by the way. Like, when you think whelk, you think, oh, yeah, it's going to have a very thick, heavy shell. No, these are delicate things. My goodness. Oh, I love the different striations of color on that one. My goodness, we'll put the other uh, first one up there as well. There you go, buddy. Oh. <gasps> Look at this white one, isn't he spectacular? The lip on him is beautiful, the point, the colors, the knobs. Okay, this one might be the favorite so far. I like big white boy. That sounds weird when I say it. I'm sorry, everyone. I like this guy, nice mochaccino boy. Look at me trying to like backtrack and be politically correct. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, I like this guy a lot too. Look at all the different colors on him. And look at the little baby one. He's like almost like a yellowy caramel color. <gasps> look at this one. Oh my goodness, everyone. They've got lovely textures on them. Knobbed whelks. So I think like, look at how different these two are between the two of them. They are so unusual to me. Like we don't have things like this in Australia either. I've never seen these before. Yes, they do have uh, bits of sand coming out of them. Uh, oh my goodness, fresh from the beach. Holy guacamole. You know what, I'm gonna put that a bit further aside. I don't want my sea urchin to die. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Ruth. I've never seen these before. What do we have here? Top shells called wheel shells. Oh, look at these things. Oh my goodness, look at these little guys. I wanna look at these little guys. Um. This must be the top shell right here. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Its colors remind me like very, very much of a, of the pheasant shells we find here. Although our pheasant shells are teeny weeny. Oh my goodness, beautiful top shell. I think that we've got a, another top shell here, the same species, but smaller. Look at them with that little green point on him. Oh my goodness, is that another top shell? I'm not sure what he is. I think that's another different kind of top shell. If I, if I could hazard a guess, that one looks like another kind of top shell or turban shell. Oh my goodness, and these guys, hold on, let me bring the light a bit closer. Like these guys, are these the wheel shells? For me, I would just call them button shells, but yeah, they look like wheels, don't they? Oh my goodness, look at these cute little minis. I do have, um, similar sorts of shells, which I've called button shells. These ones have got tiger stripes on them. I've never seen tiger stripey button shells before. Aren't they lovely? I mean, you gotta tell me if you're in New Zealand, do you just find these everywhere? Like I find pheasant shells everywhere. They're super wonderful. Oh my goodness, I love them heaps. I wonder if I can like put them into a little jar so they can be like extra special in there. Oh my God. Yeah, oh, what's this? <gasps> Oh, you can find these? Circular sun shell, is that? Or circular saw shell, oh. 
Oh my goodness, I thought it was gonna be like a sun carrier shell because I've seen those on the internet. What are these things? They're so small and precious and delicate. Hold on, can I bring that down even like further? Look at these everyone. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They are so beautiful and delicate. They are, again, a circular saw shell. I have never seen these before in my entire life. What the hell are these things? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they're beautiful. Their frills are so delicate. They've got these beautiful little textures on them. And there's three of them. Holy guacamole, Ruth. Oh, look at the little guy. You know what? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They are wonderful. I have never seen anything like these before. Have you guys ever seen it? New Zealand, guys. New Zealand, yo. That's a place to shell. Also, I would love to go to New Zealand. I have heard that it is quite expensive over there because it's an island and their um, resources uh, cost a lot to bring over from the mainland and stuff. Oh, look at him. Oh, my goodness. A New Zealand Wendell trap. Oh, my God. Let me open it. Wow. And we've also got a rose tower shell. Oh, my goodness. Let me see it. Let me see it. Oh. Look at the little Wendell trap. He's different than any of the Wendell traps I've ever found. Oh my goodness. He kind of reminds me of the uh, the Southern Australian Wendell trap, which I've never found, but I've seen pictures of on the internet. Look at him. He's got cute little like horizontal textures between the vertical ridges. My goodness, love Mr. Wendell trap. And what's this guy? This was a little uh, rose tower shell. It reminds me a bit of, I think it's a turret shell. That would be my best guess. It kind of reminds me of some of the turret shells I find around here. He's got a lovely little pink color. Oh my goodness. My goodness, minis in New Zealand. Ooh, ooh, what's in here? We've got a, we've got dog whelk and a rock shells, or maybe one dog whelk and a couple of rock shells. My goodness. Oh my goodness, let me take a look at you. Let me take a look at you. <gasps> Oh my God, look at these guys, everyone. Oop, oop, don't knock the camera. He's so dotty spotty. Oh, and he's lovely and yellow on the inside. I'm actually not sure if he is the whelk or the uh, the dog whelk. Oh, the rock shell. Um. Oh my goodness, I don't know which one he is. Is he the rock shell or the dog whelk? I think he might be the rock shell. No, he could be a dog whelk. Oh my goodness, isn't he wonderful? Again, I will be trying to put names to all of these. No idea how I'm gonna go with that. Okay, this one. This one is actually one that I do recognize because um, I see them at the beach, but never with this kind of coloration on them. Ours are always white. It is the white rock shell or also called the cart rut rock shell because the, uh, these little ridges on it look like the ruts of like an old cart. Like, you know, think Oregon Trail or something like that. Oh my goodness. And this guy, okay, I think this one's the dog whelk perhaps. Yeah, no idea which kind he is. Look at how stripey he is. What a cutie patootie. Love that orange on the inside too. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm bringing out the next thing. Oh, look at these. I've got scallops. Oh, what are these? Yep, it just says scallops. I am not sure which scallops. Wow. Oh. Look at the colors on this one. Oh my goodness. Yes, the camera is doing that justice. I mean, if I saw this at home, I'd be like, oh yeah, that's a commercial scallop. Like, uh, hold on, hold on. I was just given a bunch of uh, commercial scallops from someone in uh, New South Wales. Look at this one from New Zealand. I don't think it's a commercial scallop, is it? Is it something else? Like it's not like curved enough maybe? Goodness, isn't he wonderful? My God, I love that pattern on him. I love that color too. That is lovely. We've got a whole bunch more in here too. Oh, look at him. He's like a lovely light purple color. I don't think I've ever seen that on a scallop before. That's wonderful. And we've got some more and some flats in here. Oh, look at these guys. So I am like notoriously bad at uh, identifying scallops on the best of days. I'm not sure what these ones are. They could be like a glory scallop. That's just like what I find in Australia. I got no idea what you find in New South, in New Zealand. Oh my goodness, look at the colors on them. They're such a lovely pop. And of course, what I'm the most excited for, oh, let me see the flats. Oh God, how freaking huge that is. 
It's like an almost like black color around there. Oh, and it fades to a nice white. Scallops, they're so freaking amazing, aren't they? Look at this guy. Got lovely, like, I thought that was damage for a second. No, it's actually a white pattern right there. It's not damage on the shell at all. Oh my goodness, and the same with this one. Look at that. Scallops are so freaking pretty. How do they make their shells so beautiful? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that is freaking lovely. Oh my God, I just picked out the next one. <gasps> Look at these. We got a bit of a note in here. Uh, hold on, let me just bring the camera up for a second. Oh my goodness, what's in here? There is some absolutely huge top shells in here. They look so beautiful. <gasps> oh my goodness, Ruth, what the heck? This is like one of the nicest top shells I've ever seen in my life? Question mark, that, that's gotta be the nicest one. Oh my goodness, before I get too far ahead, let's, uh, let's have a little look at the note, shall we? These are tiger shells. The red ones are called Morea. Uh, oh, okay, so these are the scientific names, I think. I won't read them out because I'll make an absolute fool out of myself. But we've got some red ones with a specific name, the larger stripes with a specific name. The light pink with the dark spots is a specific one as well. So we've got three different species of top shells in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, aren't these just terrific? Hold on, I wanna take them all out. My goodness. <gasps> Look at these, everyone, hold yeah. on. There we go, okay, got the camera back down again. Oh my goodness. Look at these beautiful things. So that was the first one. Look at how amazing they are. How come I don't find these in Queensland? I mean, cause like, actually I was about to say, yeah, Queensland's kind of the closest to New Zealand that Australia is. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, there is just too much distance involved. Oh my goodness. And all these little like bumps, all the colors are like their own texture as well. Look at this one. Oh, look at that point on him. Isn't he special? He's so special. Oh my goodness. I'm freaking out hard for the top shells. I have never seen such beautiful top shells before in my entire life. Are top shells supposed to be this lovely? Oh my God. Oh my God. And there's another one with a super lovely point on him. Cause like top shells, when I find them here, they're like teeny tiny, almost boring looking guys. Look at how amazing these ones are. And here's the, uh, the darker orange ones. I'm sorry, these are tiger shells, not top shells. Uh, I think they're a type of top shell though. Aren't they precious? We've got a, a big one and a little one. Oh, they're so nice. So those three are one separate um, species or one separate uh, individual genus. And those ones are their own thing as well. And these ones are also their own thing. Oh my goodness, aren't they precious? Okay, I love those. No question about it. I love those so heckin' much. <gasps> Oh, look at these things. Colorful moon snails, are you kidding me? There are so, so many. Holy, holy sweet swirly Batman, there are so many. Oh my goodness, look at these guys. So it says colorful moon snails. Are they like literally gaudy nauticas, like the colorful moon snails from Florida? Or are they like the New Zealand equivalent, some kind of a, uh, some kind of other Natica shell. Oh my God, there's so many of them. There's so many, I gotta put them down otherwise I'll drop them all. Oh my goodness. Look at this one, this is a dark one. Oh, I adore him, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I am going to like Google which specific uh, species of Natica that is, like of moons now, cause oh my goodness, that looks better. These look so much better than the, uh, than the butterfly moon snails I find here and to be honest, I'm sorry the people who live in the United States, these look so much better than your Gordy Nauticas. Am I just being biased or something to like my, uh, 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 our friends in New Zealand? Because, oh my goodness, these are wonderful. These are so heckin' nice. Wait a second, do I actually have a Gordy Nautica here that I can show off? Hold on. Okay, 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 so this one was sent to me by Trudy a couple of months ago. This is a Gordy Nautica. Um... But yeah, these ones just look different, don't they? Like, they they got like little like chevrony things instead of like stripey things. Am I getting that right? Yeah, they just look different than the uh than the gaudy naughties, don't they? I don't know. I only got one gaudy naughty coat to kind of kind of like compare them with. <gasps> oh my goodness, that one's a nice one. Holy guacamole! And there's so many. Like, uh, Ruth, you'll have to tell me. Uh, these colorful moon snails like super common around you because my. God, they're nice. 
They are so heckin' nice. Oh my goodness. I'm just putting them off to the side once I look at them. They're so heckin' amazing. Oh my goodness, would you look at all of them? Okay, that took me by surprise. I had no idea that New Zealand had such lovely, uh, colorful moon snails. What are these? Oh my goodness. We've got ostrich foot shells. What? I've never seen these before. Hold on, I need to make some space. So three, two, one, space. Okay, okay, we have some space to look at these. Uh, I've never heard of these ostrich foot shells. I mean, I guess because they look like an ostrich, not that New Zealand has ostriches. <gasps> oh my, look at how sweet and swirly this is. Look at the colors on him. Like seriously, what the heck? I have never even heard of these. Never even seen, look at that opening. That is beautiful. It's like lovely white rimmed all around the opening. It's got lovely little bumps all on him. He's still got some sand from the beaches. Oh my God. And there's like how many in here? Is there like four of them in here? Oh, look at that. That's so heckin' beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the different colors are amazing. This one with the black on it, I wonder if that's from sand oxidization somewhere or if that's like a natural kind of like variation in its color. Look at him, look at him. Oh my goodness, isn't he wonderful and shiny and colorful and sweet and swirly? Look at that, he's almost got like tigery patterns on him. Oh my goodness, and we've got another one in here. Isn't he large and lovely? He's got like a much wider pattern. So these guys were kind of like much more saturated. I've never seen these before. This absolutely blows my mind. New Zealand, everyone, they're hiding all the good stuff. Like, tell me, where the heck are the New Zealand shelling videos? I see Florida, I see Australia, I sometimes see Indonesia. Where are my New Zealand peeps at? Oh my goodness. Whoa, whoa, what are these ones? Hold on, it looks like we got some shells with some very impressive Titan acorn barnacles on them. My goodness, careful with these. You don't wanna knock the barnacles after they've uh, come all the way across. What does the paper say? What we have here, we've got, we've got a paladin whelk and a tiger shell with barnacles. So I guess this one is the paladin whelk. My goodness, I've never heard of these either. Here we go, wow. This reminds me of, uh, uh, of a horse conch, somewhat, Lee, except it's got like these lovely ridges on it. Got a massive barnacle, that is super cool. Once again, this is the paladin whelk. I will try to put names on screen like with scientific names in case uh, anyone wants to try to find sellers of these online. Uh, my best guess would be to go to eBay dot NZ or whichever one the, uh, the New Zealand eBay is. Oh my goodness. And look at that, oh, look at that absolutely impressive barnacle on him. That's like one, two, three, four, five, and that could be a sixth. So this is this guy, another, ti uh, another tiger top shell, just with a massive barnacle on him. Oh my goodness, Ruth, how even does that wash up? Like, are your beaches like rocky headlands or sandy shores? Because if I tried to get something like that at the rocky headlands where I am, there is no chance that would have survived. Oh my God. You know what, hold on, let me just uh, bring that up a bit. Okay, that's already super impressive. I've never seen these. The only things I have seen before are like the scallops and that's it. Oh my God. Oh, guys. <gasps> Look at these. Oh my goodness. You know what, I am going to move him to the side. These, I did know that these were in here. I was told ahead of time. Guacamole, there's so many. So it says here that they are bonnet shells. And yes, um, I was also told by Ruth that these are specifically pear bonnet shells. And I Googled them, they're semicasis pyrum. Um, oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, look at these, everyone. Hold on, let me get my lights in a bit closer. Look at this. He is so heckin' beautiful and delicate. This shell, guys. It's like an eggshell, it is that light. There is nothing to these. Oh my goodness. So surprised that they came okay um, without being individually wrapped. Wow, they're beautiful. I have never seen these before. Oh my God, and there's so many. Oh, there's an orange one. Oh my goodness, I think there is a story about the orange one. Hold on, oh, look at those lovely like dark striations of color on them. 
Oh my goodness, Ruth. So, so with these ones, we do actually have a species of bonnet down in New South Wales, which is, I want to say, somewhat similar to these. It's called the agate helmet, or the agate helmet, sorry. Um, but yeah, different than this. Oh my goodness, look at these like little lips. They're so delicate. They're just kind of like, flip out just a little bit. Like the lips on like the bonnet shells around here are much, much thicker. I actually don't have a bonnet shell sitting around. I usually have a bonnet shell sitting around to compare things with. Oh my goodness, look at that guy. Oh, and there's a baby one. Oh, I love baby bonnets. Oh my goodness, so the amount of baby bonnets I have, I have like two or three baby bonnets. The, the hermit crabs take them around here. Okay. I love that. Holy guacamole. I can't believe how many there are. Oh my God. So like, Ruth, you'll have to tell me, are these actually like a very common shell or did you just spoil the hell out of me? Look at that lovely white around there. And then the black from the oxidization. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. There's so heckin' many. There's, oh, I really like this one. Look at the colors on him. Look at the black on the little like dots around there. The points on all of these are so heckin' lovely as well. Oh, that's a very nice one. My goodness, I'm saving the, uh, the best for last, the orange one for last. Oh my God, that's beautiful as well. Holy guacamole. Oh, oh my goodness. I have never seen these before. Like, oh my God, everyone. New Zealand as the next holiday. New Zealand is a beautiful place. You know, check out where The Hobbit was filmed. Check out where Xena Warrior Princess was filmed. Go find some epic seashells. Who would have thought? Wow. Wow. These are so nice. I have never seen bonnets like these before. Like, come on, where are all of the New Zealand shelling videos? Look at that with that yellow on it. That is beautiful. Okay. I love these. I love these bonnets so hecking much. They are so beautiful. There's another little baby one. Oh, he's so cute, everyone. I'm dying from cuteness overload. And this one, oh my goodness, look at this guy. Freaking orange dude. I think he still has some, uh, ooh, what, what do I got? What do I got? I got some little dirty bits from the beach. I'm sorry, it's actually like, I think it's tree bark. I'm actually very surprised I got through Australian customs. Um. <laughs> Oh my goodness, an orange dude. So yeah, as you can see, these guys are supposed to be like browns and pinks and like a blacky gray color. They're not like orange dudes. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put them up here so I don't accidentally knock him. He's just going off screen a little bit. Holy guacamole, they are amazing. Oh my God, I'm getting like way too hot. The, the weather has turned. It's like summer now. I'm getting so hot and sweaty from all of this. What are these things? We've got mud snails and olive shells. Holy guacamole, you get olive shells in New Zealand? Oh my God. My God, give them to me. Wow. 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 Ooh, look at them, everyone. So I guess that these ones are the olive shells. Hold on. So there are a few different types of olive shells around the world. There are olive shells that look typically more like this, kind of like a bullet. And then there are olive shells that look a bit, mm, a bit different. And I think they have like, they're called olive shells, but they're from a slightly different uh, genus or slightly different species, but they're within the olive family. My goodness. And yes, I do just have shells sitting all over my desk everywhere lately. It's, um, <laughs> I gotta do something about that. Look at all of these little olive shells. So yeah, once again, these one, two, three, four, five, six. There's another one, seven down in there. There's another one, eight right in here. Yeah, they're all olive shells. Oh my goodness. Let me just put these olive shells to the side for a second because I wanna look at what these ones are. These ones are mud snails. Oh my goodness, does that mean that they're a land snail or that you find them on the mud flats? Look at these guys. I've never seen anything like these before. They're like a moon snail, but they've got like uh, knobbing around their like shoulder or around their crown. I don't know what you call that. I'm still very bad at naming parts of a seashell. <gasps> They're wonderful. I've never seen these before. They've got like a really nice kind of like dense feeling about them, but they're also not too heavy. Oh my God, they're beauties. 
never knew they existed. Holy guacamole, everyone. There is um there is something quite large in here now. I'm gonna I'm gonna get out. There's so many in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me just check. Is that the last thing? Yes. All right, so these guys, yep, that is the end of the box. These guys are the last ones in the box. Look at these volutes. I did know about these volutes. Uh, Ruth told me about them. I didn't think I'd get sent four. Oh my goodness. Alkithoe, Alkitho? I might be saying that wrong. Alkitho Arabica. These are the Arabic volutes um, or Arabian volutes. I think they're called Arabic volutes. Look at these ones. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, these just wash up on the beach for anyone to find. <gasps> Look at these huge volutes, like the volutes I find. They're like teeny weeny little zebra volutes. Oh my goodness. Oh no, there's five. There's a little one in there. <gasps> Look at these guys. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is super impressive. Look at all these like lovely like stripey stripes on there. That's got some black on it from like oxidization with uh, probably low sediment uh, sand that it grew up in. Oh my God, they're amazing. That is so heckin' unique. Oh, look at the one with the dark stripes. Oh, that could be the favorite. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, he's a bit sandy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. I can't describe, like, I love this. Can I bring the camera down a bit further? Wow, I love this. Yeah, got a bit of extra light on him. Oh, that is a beauty, holy guacamole. And like, the tip is so perfect on him. Look at that knobbly tip. Look at that lovely black patterning. Oh my God. And there's two more in here. Hold on, let me grab them both out. Whoa, look at this one. This one's like a wider color with like nice knobby tip as well and like super dark patterning. And it's just like more like uh, into space than the patterning on these ones. Oh my goodness. And this guy, let me get a, oh my goodness, I didn't look at him. Oh, look at a knobbly little guy. That is freaking beautiful. Oh my goodness, everyone. Oh my goodness, let's take a look at these. Which one is your favorite Arabic volute? We've got the big guy with some lovely orange on him. My goodness. We've got a medium guy. We've got three medium guys. A medium guy with absolutely lovely black on him, like from oxidization, gives the shell, and some uh, orange probably from like some other kind of mangrove tannin or whatever. Got some absolutely lovely coloring on him. There's this beautiful white one with some extremely dark patterning on him. Oh my goodness. He feels lovely and shiny and slick on the inside too. And then we've got this little one with some lovely like cream colors and some more black patterning. And then we've got the little baby one. That's like the knobbliest thing you've ever seen. Oh my goodness, love those. How even, like New Zealand, why do you get such beautiful volutes? Where are Queensland's beautiful volutes? Oh my goodness. Let me bring that camera back up a little bit. Wow. Oh my goodness, that is the entire box of a hundred New Zealand shells. Let me just put them all together for a sec. Hold on. Goodness, this is it. This is it. Did I get them all? Oh my sweet swirly New Zealand Batman, everyone. Would you look at these shells? I am gobsmacked. Look at these guys. I can't believe it. These are just things that I've never ever seen before. Like, oh my goodness. So please uh, let me know which one of these, if you can pick, is your favorite. Oh my goodness. Like, this is one of those days where you just cannot pick. I'm going to try though, like, oh my goodness, look at this one. Love this top shell with its absolutely amazing little, hold on, let me get some light on it. Absolutely amazing little point on, actually they're all very pointy and lovely. These are some like the best, nicest shells I've seen in so heckin' long. That's not true, I've seen a lot of really nice shells. <laughs> I might, might be able to pick one favorite from each separate species here. I don't think I can pick a favorite overall, like, Oh my goodness, love this beautiful big green sea urchin. It feels so heckin' nice to touch. Love the sand dollar as well. Again, different than all the sand dollars I have that, and I'm, I'm getting like, I'm getting a very nice collection of sand dollars lately. 
love these circular saw shells. Never seen anything like them at all ever in my life. Love this guy. Look at how pointy he is. And this top shell as well. And the other kind of top shell, like this kind of top shell. <gasps> Aren't they wonderful, everyone? Three different kinds of amazing top shells. Oh my goodness. Love the little olives. Love the scallops. Love more scallops and scallops up there. Love these volutes. Oh my goodness, you know? I think... Actually, no, I, I can't pick because I like this one. I like this one. I like the little one. Oh my goodness, love the volutes. Love these murexes. Look at these spiky murexes. Never have I seen these before. And you can just find these at the beach over there. Are you kidding? How absolutely beautiful and lucky. Wow. Mud snail over here. He's adorable too. Love these knobbed whelks. Not really sure. Uh, which, what scientific name they are. I know that they're different than the knobbed whelks that you might see over on the, uh, over on the east coast of, uh, of the United States of America. <gasps> Love these guys. The ostrich foot, um, whelks. Oh my goodness, aren't they just different and special? Never in my life have I seen shells like those. Oh my goodness, and probably like... One of the overall favorites, look at all of these guys. Oh my goodness, pear bonnets, everyone. They are so heckin' nice. So no, I don't think I can choose a favorite today. I mean, you guys can go ahead and try to choose a favorite today. I am like, like there is no way I can choose a favorite today. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much to Ruth for sending them to me as a gift. Like this is like really a gift. I asked her, please let me send you some Australian shells. She says, no, no, I'm gonna be visiting later next year or this year. And I'm like, please let me send you some souvenirs. She's like, no, no, I'll get some from my family overseas. And I'm like, oh my God. So thank you once again to the actually beautiful, wonderful and generous Ruth for sending me all these beauties oh my goodness but uh for now guys i think that's it so uh yeah if you have watched this big unboxing thank you so so much and please give ruth a big thank you down in the comments as well and uh yeah that's it for this time everyone thank you so much for watching bye guys